Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, who rule well, teach well. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hope for elect, believing on the word, say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. It's your brother Dawadai, here at the Church of Birmingham. Coming next to you a lesson, Lord willing, it's edifying. This is Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse 16. Behold, that word behold means what? To look, right? Or look, says behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument of his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. The seven missiles that can hit every powerful nation. Throughout history, countries and empires have grown not just through technological and cultural advancements, but mainly through military might. The world's most powerful countries are also the ones that consistently dominate news headlines, preoccupy policymakers, and shape global economic patterns. At least five countries possess missiles that can fly a range of at least 13,000 kilometers and can hit targets almost everywhere on Earth, and they are North Korea, India, China, Russia, and USA. Today, let's take a look at the seven missiles that are operational or in developmental stage and can hit almost any nation. Hwasong-15 The Hwasong-15 is an intercontinental ballistic missile developed by North Korea. It is the first ballistic missile that is aiming all of the United States mainland and many other countries that are threatening. North Korea claimed the missile reached an altitude of around 4,475 kilometers and traveled 950 kilometer downrange, flying for a total time of 53 minutes. Based on its trajectory and distance, the missile would have a range of more than 13,000 kilometers. LGM 30G Minuteman 3. The LGM-30G Minuteman 3 is a three-stage solid-fuel ICBM of the United States. Minuteman 3 is the sole land-based component of the U.S. nuclear triad and it has a fast launch, nearly 100% testing reliability and backup airborne launch controllers to preserve retaliatory capabilities. The missile is powered by three solid-fuel rocket engines and weighs 36,030 kilograms. It has a range of more, more than 13,000 kilometers and a speed of Mach 23. Dongfang 41 a fourth-generation Chinese solid-fuel road mobile ICBM of China. The development of the Dongfang-41 is reported to be in response to the deployment of the United States National Missile Defense System, which degrades China's nuclear deterrence. The missile reportedly has an operational range between 14,000 to 15,000 kilometers. It is believed to have a top speed of Mach 25. Dongfang-5 Another Chinese intercontinental ballistic missile is on the list. The Dongfang-5 is a second-generation two-stage ICBM that has a length of 32.6 meters and weighs over 183 tons. Its missile's variants are capable of delivering up to 10 warheads. Dongfang is reported to have an operational range similar to Dongfang-41. The speed of this missile is Mach 22. Surya Missile a Surya missile is an ICBM secretly developed by India. According to a 2013 report by the New Indian Express, Surya missile is being developed confidentially under the codename of Agni-6. It is to be a three-stage design with the first two stages using solid propellants and the third stage using liquid. Surya is speculated to have a range of 16,000 kilometers, which brings almost all major nations of the world in its range. R-36 the R-36 is a family of intercontinental ballistic missiles and space launch vehicles developed by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. This missile can deliver up to 25 MIRV warheads depending on variant. Its length is about 32.2 meters and mass of over 200 tons. It is capable of traveling an operational range up to 16,000 kilometers and a speed of over Mach 23. RS-28 Sarmat 
finally, at number one spot comes another Russian ICBM. The Samrat is one of the six, six new Russian strategic weapons unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin on 1st March 2018. The RS-28 Samrat is expected to enter service in 2021. The missile will be able to deliver 10 to 15 MIRVs and its mass is about 200 tons and a length of 35.5 meters. The expected operational range is up to 18,000 kilometers and a speed of Mach 20.7. And with that, we're signing off for today. It said entering into service in 2021. Well, why is that? We just read it. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. I have created the smith. Who is the smith? The blacksmith, the one who does iron works. Okay. These scientists, they bring forth the, war, the weapons of the Lord indignation. It says, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument of his work. Yeah, this instrument is going to take these devils out. All right. These are the, the, um, the way that the Lord chose to take out Babylon. Right. It says with great violence. Okay. The same way this devil came into power is the same way he's going to be taken out. Right. <clears throat> it says that bringeth forth an instrument of his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. And that's what the Lord has purpose for Babylon the Great. These strange reigns. Let's go to the book of Psalms. And you had what? China, listen on there. Russia and North Korea. Matter of fact, they started out with North Korea and said all of its missiles are pointed toward the United States. Okay? And we read in Revelation 9 where it says, what, uh, 200,000, thousand, which means 200 million. Well, people will say, well, there ain't that many missiles in the world, but there are multiple warheads, something called MIRV. It's an acronym. Uh, M-I-R-V, uh, multiple re-entry vehicles. Where the uh, the different stages of the missile where it breaks up, and those individual warheads can be targeted to individual places. Okay, Psalms chapter seven and I'm gonna start at verse eleven. The Most High Judge of the righteous. And power is angry with the wicked every day. And he's angry with them every day, man. He's he's ready to come back and liberate his his children. All right, through the way of his son, you have a shot. Okay? He just got a uh he's bound by his word, he's bound by the prophecies, right? It says, If he turn not, he will wet his sword, he have bent his bow, you see. And made it ready. See, all these things are already prepared. They're already established for that day that the Lord is going to, you know, ultimately take out Babylon the Great by way of fire. It says, he have also prepared for him the instruments, you see, the instruments of death. He have ordained his arrows against the prosecutor. And what's the arrows? Those missiles, right? Matter of fact. Let's go to the book of Judges. <laughs> Real quick. You know, you got you got uh, simple Negroes, man, who say, man, those, those arrows are not talking about missiles. Well, guess what? If you look up broken arrow, simple Google definition is going to tell you, matter of fact, let's, let's get this Judges 5 and 11 real quick. Let's do a quick Google search, right? Okay. Arrow. A shaft sharpened at the front. Let's see. Matter of fact. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Miriam Webster. Hmm. A missile shot from a bow. <laughs> a missile 
shot from a bow. You see that? And usually having slender shaft, a pointed head, and feathers at the butt. Hold up. We can't make this up. Slender shaft. Right? Pointed head. Right? And, and they, they said feathers. But sometimes these things have wings. But the Lord has made these things so sophisticated now. They no longer need those fins to guide them. Right? These intercontinental ballistic missiles. A missile shot from a bow. And usually having slender shaft and a pointed head. So you can't get around it, man. Let's go to Judges. Right? Because the Lord said what? Judges 5 and 11. Just going into those, those, those arrows. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. Archers don't make noise. You go into the ancient world when an when a arrow was shot. It didn't make any noise, man. Not, not a noise of destruction. You may have a whistle and by the time it hits you, it's too late. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. In the places of drawing water. What's the place of drawing water? The place of your captivity. Servitude. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his visions in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. But the point is what? You're going to be delivered from the noise of the archers, man. All right? Let's go to Revelation. The book of Revelation. All right? Chapter 9. And <clears throat> verse 15. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared. See, the Lord had already got this set up. Which were prepared for an hour and a day. Come on, devil, don't jump my screen again. Right? <laughs> and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day, and a month, and a year for to slay the third part of men. Yeah, the third part of men are the Edomites, man. All right? And the number of the army of the husband were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. Yeah, man, these missiles, right? And thus I saw horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having a breastplate of fire, and of Jankthiff and Brimstone, and the heads of the horses were the heads of lions. They roared, right? We just read it, noise of archers. And out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone, you see? And by these three were the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke. And by the brimstone which issue out of their mouths. You see that? As the Lord has this strange rain prepared for Babylon the Great. Let's go to Malachi. It's already set in motion. Things have to come to pass before they play out. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, that's that behold again. Look. The day cometh, which is what? Prophecy is already prepared. That shall burn as an oven. And all the proud. Who was that? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Yeah. And all that do wickedly. Who was that? These other nations that follow after the ways of Babylon, the great mainly two-thirds of our people, right? Shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that shall leave them neither root nor branch. You see that? So the Lord has already prepared this judgment. All right? And it just so happened <laughs> that that last missile, number one on the list, is being put into commission 2021. What's the odds? Right? With the Lord, you how about shall shot? There are no coincidences. Keep that in mind. Let's go back to Revelation 17, right? Uh, yep, let's start at 15. And he saith unto me, 
the waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Yeah. Babylon the Great ruled over all these nations. All right. Through the influence, through their policy. Okay. That's why when something is ever brought up on the UN, America has the, the power to veto anybody. They could all be on one accord and America can veto it and it don't come to pass. This is that hoarded rule over these different nations, right? And that's why in turn, they're going to hate the whore, as we're going to read. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. You see that? And shall burn her, and burn her with fire. Those ICBM missiles. Why? For the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill His will. Right? I made the, the smith that blows the coals in the fire. And to agree to give their kingdom unto a beast. Unto the words of the Lord. Excuse me. To the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. You see that? So it's already a prepared day set hour that the Lord has these these things going to come to pass. You see? And it's already it's already written, but the words of the Lord has to be fulfilled. Let's close it out here. All right? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 16 and verse 16. Cuz it's going to rain <laughs> for the ungodly that deny to know thee were scourged by the strength of thine army. These are one of the armies of the Lord of hosts. Oh, why does he have that title? The Lord of hosts, which is the Lord of armies, right? With strange rains, see, hills and showers, where they persecuted that they could not avoid. Yeah, you're not going to get away, right? And through fire were they consumed, you see? So the Lord has already had these things prepared a four time. Things just have to play out. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who are my teachers. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Lord willing, coming to you a lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.